All right, guys, we are full. This is Select Hobby PYT number 151. One box NBA. B. Jordan's going to rip it. If we hit Elijah Hughes or Aaron Naismith, we are going to put a bounty in play if it's color. Good luck. Frank, we got to get you out here to Vegas. You know what's funny? All this stuff you're saying about what you're talking, I have no idea what any of that is. That's all right. We don't, we don't want you to know about that. We just want you to talk about football on Sundays. <laughs> What do you got for me? I don't know. We have to, let's see if we can stump you here. Someone said that the Broncos are bums, so I need to know a Super Bowl that the Broncos were in. James Wiseman rookie. Like, tell us about saying? the tell us about the drive. Denny rookie auto silver to two forty nine. Uh, actually cost me because I bet the Browns minus three, and they were up twenty to thirteen. And they kicked off, and the the Broncos fumbled it, and and down the they got the ball back like at the two yard line, and Elway just kept pass after pass, and then he he fired a bullet into the end zone on the on the goal on the tying touchdown where it Isaac Okoro it, it almost went through the guy's stomach. That's how hard he hit. It was one of the three amigos, and honestly, I can't remember which one it was, but that's who it was that. They caught it. One of the and, three uh, amigos. Poku rookie. And then the game went to OT, and I still say that kick was wide left, and they gave it to him. <laughs> oh, Kwonwu to 25 for the Hawks! Actually, that's the year I went to the Super Bowl I told you about with the Giants-Denver. That was the AFC title game, and I was at that Giants-Denver Super Bowl game. Down in, I was at the Rose Bowl. Where you bribed the, uh, the doorman for 50 bucks. 24 of 25. 20. My grandfather pulled the deal. Everyone gave her $20 like it was uh, like a ticket. Got in. <laughs> Anthony Edwards, premier level rookie. Hi, Frank. Hello. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Eh, not bad. Not bad. <laughs> I don't think so, Tamara, but I'll ask. They want to know if you're a wrestling fan. <laughs> As a boogie. Actually, you know what? Not now I'm not, but I used to go to WWF matches back in the Hulk Hogan oh, days. But I always liked the bad guys. Kevin uh, Love. I didn't go for the good guy. I was a... Luca. I was a uh, macho man guy. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, Bobby the Brain Heenan, he was great. Randy Savage? Ma macho man Randy Savage? Yeah. We like him. Isaiah Joe, red, white, and blue rookie, and Josh Green. I don't watch it anymore. I have no idea what it is now. How did your boy uh, Tomlin and, and Roethlisberger look today? Well, they're brutal. They're, they're doing what they're supposed to do right now, get beat down. That's amazing. Like, I got that text you sent me, too, but every line other than New England was less, four points or less. Yep. And Obi Toppin. Here's what's funny is that line would have been under four points, and hell, the Texans or the Titans might have been favored if they had all their weapons. If they have their receivers and and uh, Henry, they probably that game's probably close to a pick'em. Yeah. Brandon Clark. Henry's John done. Wall. I think so. Jaden McDaniel. Who was your favorite wrestler when you were going to those games? LeBron Scope. For the Lakers, my Beverly. Friend, I told you, I like, uh, I had a lot of guys. I like, I like the Million Dollar Man. He was a wise guy. I like, uh, you like his, uh, when he laughed, I, people told Jim me I have Smith. the Million Dollar Man laugh. Yeah, he was great. He was just obnoxious. <laughs> I like Honky Tonk. Aldridge to 299 and Pritchard. I uh, Hershey Park one night to watch these guys, and it was, uh, Honky Tonk Man fought at Ken Patera, and Ken Patera just beat the daylights out of him. It was brutal. <laughs> Lamella Concourse. Uh, Hart Foundation against the British Bulldogs in a tag team cage match, and uh, Hart Foundation prevailed. <laughs> Jimmy Anvil Nightheart and Brett the Hitman Hart. Campazzo Green. Seiko. Yeah, looking at these scores, Hertz had a, a 300 interceptions. Ah, uh, he's the one. I mean, right before half too. Like they had that. Uh, 
They had the ball on the one yard line. First of all, they had a holding penalty that called a touchdown back. Andrew Wiggins. They didn't pass down to the one yard line. The Coro. And they had called a go down there. And then on third down, he rolled out this 12 seconds and no timeouts left. It just took forever. And then he threw it, trying to throw it away. And the guy intercepted it. Nice so he threw away three points twice minimum, you know, because they were down there another time and he threw a pick down there. Too. Steph Curry, red, white, and blue. How that about that Tampa game? At the end of that Tampa game, where that uh, Colt ran that kick all the way down the field. That's what we were. I was just about to say to you, and you stole it out of my head. Yeah. Where Fournette put? Obviously, Fournette's supposed to score there. He ain't supposed to lay down on the two-yard line or anything. Uh, with twenty seconds left. But then they had almost bit him in the ass. Yeah. But obviously. The guy running the ball from that far away, they, they're not even telling him that in the huddle. No. But, uh, you know what? With 20 That's seconds left, there. you might as well run it in, right? You're exactly right. Why, why, why even waste it on a kicker? Recap. Risk it, I Good. should say. Thank you, guys. That was Select Hobby 151.